Hi friends, and welcome back to Amanda Muse. We have survived the first few days of school. I say survive, that's kind of a big dramatic word. I've survived it, Esme's thrived, and I thought I would share with you some of the lunches that I've made. I'm sure like most parents, I'm kind of obsessed with what my kid eats. Esme, I think like a lot of kids has very particular eating habits, some of them a little peculiar, but she does certainly thrive on lunches because she does well with these like designated snacks and fruits and little little nibbles here and there. So we've really been enjoying this lunch process. So this will be what my kid ate in a week, if you will. And if you guys enjoy this kind of video, please give it a big thumbs up. My only disclaimer, and it kind of seems silly to say because if you've watched me long enough, then you know the drill, but I never attest to being the healthiest eater alive. And my whole motto in life is everything in moderation. So of course there will be desserts. Of course there will be some processed foods, but my whole goal is to get my kids to eat well to actually eat food and sometimes with four-year-olds as you know if you have experience with young kids is they just don't eat celery because it's good for you like it's just it's just not how life goes with my kids anyway so with that in mind without further ado let's jump into this video like many areas of my life um, to when I start something new I feel like I need to stay motivated and honestly this sounds really lame but I like to buy myself something to keep me motivated so if I'm working out I like to have a new workout outfit and if I'm making lunches, I need some cute lunchbox material. So let me show you what I'm using for Esme. I came across this lunchbox because a friend of mine had posted a photo on Facebook and she said that she'd been using hers, I think going on four years now. And that to me is incredible. And the cool thing too with this lunchbox is it's not specific to children. I mean, if you're an adult and you go to work every day, I just think this lunchbox is incredible. So you can put it in the dishwasher, which is awesome. And you can personalize it with these adorable little magnets. It's not necessary. Here's the lunch bag, we went with a nice pink one. It's very thin and compact. You could put a little ice pack in here and it is thermal and I'm sure you could put like a fork and a knife and things. I really like it. Very sturdy. Occasionally, if you use a snack like cut up oranges or strawberries, there might be some leakage because it is a juicy food. A lot of people swear by this Glad press and seal. You can see you can seal it around the location and it'll prevent leakage. Um, but I think because I'm always like shoving this thing full of food, I haven't had a lot of success with it. For the time being, if I am sending in something like cut up oranges, I put it into a little snack bag, like a Ziploc style, um, and push it into the section of that compartment so that it doesn't leak into the sandwich or the crackers and make everything soggy because I did do that on the first or second day. So lesson learned. We have a banana, some blueberries, and some grapes. Hey, you! <laughs> we have a little beef. We have an unsweetened country berry applesauce. Her dessert's gonna be chocolate chips. And we have for the main course, we have crackers and cheese and turkey kielbasa. We have a jam sandwich with a little bit of butter, jam on whole wheat. We have a cheese, a honey, teddy bear crackers, some cheese puffs. This is gonna be her little dessert. Cucumbers, cherry, tomatoes, and some oranges. And then I also add one of these little fruit um, rocket. They're just an unsweetened strawberry kind of applesauce thing, just in case she gets extra hungry. Jam sandwich, some of those cheesy crackers two little honey graham cookies, a cheese stick, some sliced turkey. Her dessert's gonna be two candies and some chocolate chips. For veg, we have some cucumbers, some tomato, and these are those little uh, yogurt-covered raisins. And then for fruit, we have some grapes and strawberries. The usual cucumber suspect, because I know she'll eat it and it's refreshing. Some edamame we had the other night, so I just popped them out of their shells. Some cut-up orange. For dessert, we're having a little marshmallow treat. I have one of these yogurt tubes. This is a banana strawberry one, and some chips that I could sneak in there. For her main course, it's a little bit of a mixture, but I made a spinach banana oat muffin. They're a little strange, but she likes them, and so does Jack. I don't know if it's a kid thing, but anyway, I've pinned it on my Pinterest. Then we have some turkey slices, all nice and rolled up, vanilla yogurt covered raisins, a cheese, and some fishy crackers. So those are the lunches I sent to school for Esme this week. You may notice there was only four lunches and that's simply because we skipped school on Friday. We played hooky. She's little and I'm a rebel. So that's what we do. And before the parenting police jump on board, the nice thing about kindergarten here in Ontario in Canada is that it is divided into junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten. And the teachers are very respectful and understanding that the transition is not going to be the easiest for everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to put together. Like I said at the beginning, I'm I'm kind of obsessed with figuring out what she's gonna eat 
I'm coming up with a few new recipes and baked goods that I think she will eat. I was very surprised that those spinach muffins went down so well. In fact, you may see behind me, there's some more green funny looking muffins over there. Both the kids are just gobbling them up and we don't tell them there's spinach in there. I tell them that they're monster cupcakes and that we put green food coloring and it's working because that's incredible. If you're new, please subscribe. I put out videos twice a week and I would love for you to join the Amanda Muse family. Add me on all of my socials, links below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down here and click this i button over here to see other videos that you may enjoy that are related to this one. Keep it real, my friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!